No, I mean, people need to hear this. I have to say this because uh, I'm tired of people going to Navy Fed and having their asses denied for credit cards. I mean, because they have no information. You got to have the information here, okay? So in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the Navy Federal Platinum Credit Card. What to never do as a cardholder if you want to boost your Navy Federal internal score. Very important, okay? So stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you already asked me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to speak to you if you are a Navy Federal Platinum credit card holder. Okay, so I want to speak to you about things you should never do. If your goal is to boost your Navy Federal internal score to 450, from 100 to 450, there are things you should never do. But before I actually get into the, the steps, I, I, I want to give you an overview. I'm going to spill all the beans when it comes to this credit card. Now, this the Platinum credit card is a great card. It's great for large purchases that you want to pay off over time. Okay, if you're looking for a low interest credit card, this also can be a great card. Okay, and the card is, is cool for people who have fair to excellent credit. Not a problem. And the cool thing here is that this card is... is um, is available to people who want to pre-qualify. In other words, you don't want to have a, a hard pull on your on your credit. You can actually pre-qualify before submitting an application. This is fantastic. And the card is kind of cool because it has an, an APR that oscillates from 6.24% to 18%. Think about that. This is really good. 6.24%? Whew, that's really wonderful. The card has no annual fees, no balance transfer fees, no foreign transaction fees, no cash advance fees. The reason why I'm telling you all these things is because if you don't currently have a Navy Federal Platinum credit card, this could be a chance. This could be an opportunity to, to give it a try because especially you have a, a prequal, pre-qualification. You ain't got nothing to lose. You are not losing anything. So if you're not losing anything, I want your ass to get up there and just pre and just uh, see if you can be uh, pre-approved. All right. And so when we think about this Navy Federal Platinum credit card, this is wonderful if you want to, if you're trying to get a break on high interest debt. Okay. Wonderful. And remember that one thing you want to make sure is that you want to actually plan your payments to this credit cards. Now, the cards will give you a, a grace period of 28 days. Okay. But you always want to pay at least the minimum due three or four days before the due date in case there are problems okay it's very important now let's get into the actual things that the things that you should never do as a card holder if you want to boost your nfcu internal score the first thing you should never do is being ignorant in terms of uh, the credit card itself one thing you need to understand is that when the credit card this card comes with a zero percent intro apr right but the 0% intro APR may not apply to everything. Oh, yeah. Does that does that ring a bell to you? Okay, talk to me about that. You probably thought, oh, 0% is a uh, 0% APR applies to everything. No, 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 no. The 0% APR applies to balance transfers only for 12 months. I want you to I want I want you to really, really memorize that. If you have the card right now or you are thinking about getting this card, you want to keep it in your mind that the 0% applies to balance transfer, balance transfers. I don't want you to walk around and, and use the card for purchases and then realizing they're charging you a lot of cash. See, if you are carrying, if you're carrying high balances and you are basically uh, not paying them off uh, quickly because you are thinking that the, the APR for purchases were, was a zero and you realize it's not they're probably slapping 10% or 15% on your card. This could affect your internal credit score and every fit. Instead of moving upward to 450, you probably will be taking the elevator down to the basement around 100 or 150. 
What's up with that? We don't want that. Okay. So ignorance is the first thing. Are you currently ignorant? Talk to me, boss. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. All right. The thing here is that you probably don't know this before, but I want you to take notes right now. Okay, so you have a clear idea when you get the card or if you currently have it, you want to go back and read your your terms and conditions because sometimes your terms and conditions might be different. But the zero percent APR, at least as of the date of this show, when we look at when we looked at the credit, when we actually um, looked on the website, that zero percent APR applies to balance transfers. Obviously, the card is great because it has zero it has no foreign transaction fee right so you can use the card if you happen to have a vacation in acapulco right the card also um, has a uh, no balance transfer fee but if you purchase somebody uh, somebody <laughs> if you purchase something while on vacation or just just you know in everyday life you're gonna have to pay the normal apr of 6.24 percent to 18 percent The second thing I want you to talk about, the, the second thing I want you to pay attention to is the late payment. This is important. And this is a, a rule that doesn't apply only to the Navy Federal Platinum Credit Card. It applies across the board to all credit cards, not just the Navy Federals, but also uh, all institutions. Okay. The thing here is that your 0% APR on balance transfers could be canceled if you are late on payments. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Did you hear that? Boss, I'm, talk I'm talking to you about, see, when you transferred balances onto your Navy Fed credit card, right? You are all happy, you know, lovey-dovey, you're all very happy, kumbaya, blah, blah, blah. But if you ever miss a payment, if you ever miss a payment, I'm telling you that your 0% APR deal could be canceled. So it's really important to, to have a system whereby you are, you are able to make monthly minimum payment, at least the minimum, okay? And the, and the cool thing is that this is very easy. You have your pen fed, your, your pen fed, you have a Navy fed account and you set up automatic debits. Okay. Payment that, that come from, uh, that comes from your accounts, your checking accounts, let's say uh, five days before the due date. And it comes at least the minimum. I'm not, I'm not asking you to actually uh, make the full payment. If your, uh, your account cannot handle that, but you need to abide by the minimum payment. You need to comply with that, that requirement to keep the 0% intro APR for 12 months on balance transfers. Okay. So if you, and this is kind of important because if you want to actually uh, beef up your uh, Navy Fed internal score, you better be really regular in terms of payments. Okay. You can't be walking around and just uh, skipping payments here and there and hoping to have a, a high, a high Navy Fed internal score. You're going to be in the 100. You're going to be in the basement if you keep doing that. So very important as a cardholder, never be late on payments. Never be late. Okay. And one thing you need to understand is that after missing the payment, you will likely see two charges, a late fee, usually between five dollars and thirty five dollars the the fees are different based on the state you're in and uh, your terms and conditions but you might see a late fee but you might see interest on the balance okay so that's the short-term damage that could be really uh bad for you and there's also a long-term hit that could be uh, that could come onto your credit score see this show is all about navy federal internal credit score internal score however you have to look at things in duality right any any damage you have at the Navy Fed internal score level has an impact on your external FICO score level this is important I want to talk to you now about utilization yeah are you with me boss are you with me don't you walk around I don't know why some people are this is kind of quiet why is it so quiet so I want to talk to you about the Navy Federal Platinum Credit Card and what to never do as a card holder if you want to boost your NFCU internal score. So when I'm talking about utilization, you probably know already what I'm, what I'm about to talk about, right? In other words, big balances on your platinum card can still hurt your credit scores. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is important. Now, the thing is, so no matter what promotional deal you got on your new platinum credit card, the rules remain the same as far as your credit scores and also your Navy Fed internal score. 
So the amount of money you owe still accounts for 30% of your FICO score. And at the Navy Fed level, it accounts for 10 to 20%. So if your credit utilization ratio, which is actually the percentage of uh, your credit limits that you are using, if that CUR is too high, guess what? Your scores, and, I'm, and boss, I use plural here, your scores might suffer. I'm talking about your Navy Fed internal score, but also your FICO score, okay? In general, it's best to use less than 30% of your credit limit on any credit card. I mean, we want to bump it up a little bit to uh, 35%, okay? So this is kind of cool. So it is a no-brainer that you want to have uh, the right strategy in place. Big decision time, big decision time, boss. How much are you currently carrying on your Navy Federal Platinum credit card? Talk to me about that. Are you carrying four grain, three grain, 10 grain? How much are you carrying? And what is your CUR? What is your overall CUR? Is it high? Is it low? Are you around 30% or are you around 60%, 50%? Well, the thing here is that no matter, uh, no matter the CUR you have, if you have a high CUR, you better start, you better really start nipping this, nipping this in the butt. Very important. You need to nip this in the bud. It's really important to have a situation where you are constantly keeping your uh, CUR under control. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very important. So you want to nip this in the bud before it actually becomes a big, it has a big impact on your FICO score and on your Navy Fed internal score. I want to talk to you now about late payoff. Oh yeah, this is important. If you ever late, and remember, missed payments are not the same thing as late payments, okay? At least you paid, but you were late. Okay? It does have an impact, maybe not as high as it not as high as if you just missed the payments, but it does have an impact. Let's talk about that. First thing first. See, when we talk about your Navy Federal credit score, internal score, and the FICO score, this ain't no game. This is business. It is super business, okay? And you gotta you gotta approach the whole thing with a strategy. You gotta have a formula. You cannot just be uh, walking around being a random man or woman. You know what I call a random man or woman? I'm, I'm, I call these people who just walk around and when they see a credit card, they just apply. That's what I call a random man or a random woman. When they see, when they go, when they just canvass some websites on the internet and they love a credit card, they just like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm just going to apply. No. When it comes to credit, you have to be strategic. And once you get the credit, whether you get, you got the credit card or you get the loan, whatever, you need to have a strategy also when it comes to paying off that debt. It takes strategy. It takes tactics. It takes planning. Don't do things randomly. I want you to quit doing things randomly. Okay. So. If you are late, first of all, if you're late on your Navy Federal uh, Platinum credit card, interest will be charged on any balance left when the 0% period, 0% promo period ends, right? That's number one. The damage goes even further on your Navy Fed internal score. The damage goes even further on your FICO score externally, okay? And the cool th and, and the bad thing is that when we speak about Navy Fed internal score, this ain't just about credit. It's also about your banking relationship. Remember that a credit union is member oriented. So they're doing everything to make sure the members are, are taken care of, right? So when you have a let's say when you have a bad event, when you have a derogatory item, when you have a negative item, an adverse item, this will trickle down or will trickle over to your banking relationship. Okay, Navy Fed will start looking at you as, hey, listen, this person, uh, th th there must be some problem here. I mean, you know, they are, they are just uh, having uh, late payments all the time, and this they could be bouncing checks too. And one thing leading to another, the, the next thing you know is that they've been talking to you about your uh, your check system. They be checking your, they they will be checking your check system, and to see if you have some kind of a derogatory items going on there too. My my bottom line here is that you want to maintain a clean pay, uh, a clean payment, clean payment to history, and try to automate things when it comes to uh, regular payments or when it comes to payoff. Credit card, credit card, credit cards. We are speaking about the Navy Fed 
platinum credit card and we're speaking about having the right strategy in place to make sure that you are never in a situation where maybe fed or any other institution for that matter is just surprised and maybe pissed that you haven't made the payment i don't know okay i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sudi Kiwi Show. How are you? Too? We are still having a conversation about Navy Federal Platinum Credit Card, right? And uh, there are things you should never do if you are a cardholder, a Platinum cardholder, and if you want to boost your NFCU internal score. I want to talk to you about it, authorized users, okay? Well, hey, listen, boss, you have bad or fair credit, so what? You have no credit, so what? If you are an authorized user on somebody else's a platinum credit card, you can actually uh, be uh, you can actually benefit. Yeah. In other words, you can parlay that great relationship that you have that uh, the person, the primary cardholder has with Navy Fed, you can parlay that relationship in that that stellar credit history. You can parlay that into your own into improving your own Navy Fed internal score. This is important. Remember, though, that you want to make sure the person has stellar credit score. And hopefully the person, I mean, since there is a great correlation between your Navy Fed internal score and uh, your credit score, if the person has a good credit score externally, chances are that he or she might have also internally within Navy Fed a good internal score. Okay. For example, if somebody has a 750 on their FICO score, chances are they are around, uh, hmm, 375 or 400 when it comes to Navy Fed internal score. So the the the, the key takeaway here is that you want to basically uh, connect connect yourself with someone who has a good financial history, who has a good FICO score, okay? And and the person have, must be also a Navy Fed member. This is this make this definitely makes sense. And the person preferably must be using also a Navy Fed Platinum credit card. That way you actually benefit from multiple angles, right? That's what we're talking about. You really want to benefit from multiple angles and you can actually get the card you need and with the limit you need. It's important to understand that Navy Fed will actually report, will actually report your transactional data if you are an authorized member on somebody else's card, okay? So every time a payment is made, you will benefit from that rosy sort of scenario also and god forbid something happens and the person didn't make a payment blah 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 then uh, you might suffer also but hopefully if the person is financially responsible which there should be in the first place okay whenever you reach out to someone and ask for uh, as for them to add you as an authorized user you want to make sure that the, per that the person himself or herself is financially responsible is mature what i call mature in terms of credit who understands the ins and outs of credit, who has actually uh, made a few mistakes in the past and has learned from those those mistakes. It's important to have that. I want to close to this conversation by giving you a few uh, pro tips. Okay. And uh, when we talk about, so, but by the way, why is everybody silent here? Am I missing something? Really? Uh, talk to me. Talk to me. Hello? Anybody home? Okay. I, I can, I can hear you. The thing is that if you want to actually raise your Navy Fed internal score, whether you have a platinum credit card or you have a gold credit card or you have a an Amex Navy Fed credit card and whatnot, there are certain things you need to do to actually boost your FICO score, which is exogenous, which is external, and your Navy Fed internal score, which is endogenous. Okay, and first thing you want to pay off your balance every month. I don't care if you want to pay in full or you want to pay partially, whatever, but you want to pay the minimum due. That's what Navy Fed, Navy Fed cares about. That's what they're going to pay attention to, either in the short, the short term or the long term. It doesn't matter. You want to use the card for your needs, not for your wants. Okay. The Platinum card is, uh, is great for balance transfers. It's also great for purchases because uh, the APR is kind of low. But make sure that you are strategic about what the, the card can help you with, what the card can do for you, right? 
because, because this should be the question here. What can you do for me? Okay. And uh, you can use the card for several things and never skip a payment. We've said this before when it comes to late payoffs, when it comes to uh, late payments, all that kind of stuff. And you can, when you have, uh, if you don't actually uh, make payments on time, you are derailing the relationship that you should have been building with NeviFed. Okay. And you want to uh, use the credit card as a budgeting tool. Okay. Maybe the platinum credit card has a lot of tools uh, that are embedded and they can help you uh, budget so this is really good use use uh, a rewards card you can use the card to uh, to get some rewards even though it is totally complicated with this card okay to build rewards but hey listen you you never know or you can do uh, what we call credit card credit limit migration so let's say you have a uh, a certain credit limit on your Navy Federal Platinum credit card, but you have the Gold card, which is uh, which is also great, and uh, the Gold card has a, a lower credit limit. You can migrate part of your part of your uh, your limit onto that card from your or from your initial Navy Federal credit credit card, and uh, and also trying to maintain a low credit limit, a low CUR. This will help you in the long run. Okay, so decision, big decision time, big decision time. After listening to all of this conversation, what are you going to do? What is your decision? Are you going to get the Navy Federal Platinum card? Are you going to, if you are already a, a card holder, are you going to pay attention to uh, whatever you do, the impact of that thing on your uh, Navy Fed internal score? Very important. <music> All right. So in today's conversation, I give you the overview. I talk about I talked about ignorance, late payments, utilization, late payoff, authorized users, and I give you a few pro tips. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>